Got another one. Got another one. Keep them out of the weeds here. showed you in a video which I'll leave a link to in the description down below how to rig the Ned rig it's very very simple but now I want to show you how I use it uh, so stay tuned um, and I'll show you that in just a second but before we do I thank all the new subscribers I've gotten in the last couple of weeks I've uh, gained a few and I sure appreciate you watching and subscribing and your encouragement uh, so let's get started and you know the drill also like subscribe and comment please and hit that notification bell uh, the little blue bell and you will get notified every time I uh, drop a video so again thanks for watching be right back to you Okay guys, uh, here's what I'm using. I'm using a uh, Z-Man Finesse TRD Canada Craw. Uh, just a short thing. It's two and three quarter inches long. And I have that on a Z-Man size one or one aught. Oops. One aught um, Ned Rig Jig. So there it is. I'm using a, hot, believe it or not, an Ozark Trail medium action uh, spinning rod and a Shimano Syncopate uh, reel to go with it. So let's see how this does. And I'll show you how I work it. It's, uh, it's great for cold water, uh, great for clear water, and <clears throat> It's just a, it's a very subtle presentation, uh, letting it hit the bottom and just slowly bouncing it along. So let's see what happens. Uh, it's getting really windy. Conditions are going to be nasty out here today. Uh, this is great for just about any kind of cover. It's fairly weedless. Um, I really don't get it stuck a lot. Uh, it's great for rocks. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate in this little pool how the Ned Rig <coughs> looks underwater. Uh, you can see it standing on its head. Uh, the weight of the jig head, uh, the Ned Rig head is pulling it down so the worm is straight up. And then when you bounce it along like this, it looks, it can imitate uh, really a fleeing crayfish or any other kind of uh, critter in the water. Um, so anyway, that's kind of what it looks looks like. Uh, you just, you can flick the rod tip or raise the rod tip up and then let it rest. Uh, you don't need to work it fast, just nice and smooth. And it's great for cold, clear water, lethargic bass. Oh, did I have one? I think I might have one, gentlemen. Yes, sir. I got one. All right. Yeah. Second or third cast did okay. Not a bad one for this this pond. There we go, gentlemen. 
right there. You can see that real good on the Ned Rig. And that's how it's done. No, not really any rocket science to it. Bye bye. Well, we got some ugly water conditions and some ugly wind. But we got one fish on in the boat. Oh, got another one. Got another one. Keep them out of the weeds here. He's a little bit, a little bit bigger than the last one. I do declare, I think he is. Okay, there's fish number two. We'll have to get that on our fish counter. Beautiful little thing. We'll let him go. Yeah, we'll get our trusty, dusty fish counter out because this old man loses track. That's one, two. Yeah, there we go. Number two. Oh, do I? I got one. Yeah, I got one, friends. Yeah. About the same as the last one, I'm thinking. Good fighters for little fish out of here. see that. Yeah, there you go. Good picture. Nice to catch fish. Been a long haul for me with my accident and my recovery. And uh, like I said, this is only my second time out here. So I am just thrilled. Is that a dead crayfish? No. All right. And that's how it's done with the Ned Rig. Okay. Here's what I tied on. And like I discussed in my video on how to rig a Ned Rig about um, cutting a about a three inch piece of Senko style worm off and using it as a Ned rig works real good instead of buying uh, already pre-cut ones uh, I guess this is the poor man's way of of using the Ned rig but it works now I've gone with a little lighter color and I know that may not be the thing in this dingier water but sometimes you got to step outside the box and try Darker colors, darker colored lures, and darker water can be more effective uh, for catching fish. Fish in here.
red rig comes through again. Tough get cause to cover like I'd want because of the wind. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. I got one. Just slowly bouncing it along. It's a baby, but it's a fish. Okay, number six. We'll take it. No matter how small. Just slowly bouncing that along. That, that fish in the last bite I had uh, were only about five feet out. All right, back in action after a battery change. We got number 10 on the in the boat. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is a better one. This is a better one. <clears throat> Hope you didn't swallow that too bad. No. Nope. Easy breezy get out. But he gulped it. Yeah, well he barely hooked. That's 14 gentlemen. Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hooked up, hooked up. Looks like a fairly decent one. All right, number 20. Number 20. Number 20. He's been hooked before. So number 20. Yeah, right here, number 20. Okay, before I give up, we're going to get 21 here. Before I hurt so bad I can't even move. There. All right, there's 21. All right, here's 21, guys. Nice one. There we go. sick of the wind and uh, I need to get something to drink and sit down. Oh, got one. Now we'll make this 22. We'll make this little feller 25 and call it a day. And there you go. Number 
number 25 and that's how you do it on the Ned Rig. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that, uh, that's going to wrap it up. Man, that was a great session. Uh, in spite of the 20 to 40 mile an hour winds out here and the lousy water conditions, I caught 25 bass. And, uh, and that was all on the Ned Rig. Just like I wanted to show you how it's done and how effective that Ned Rig can be in the worst of conditions. So, uh, I appreciate you watching, and uh, you know what, I think I'll see you next time.